Today we have with us the Coventry University from UK and uh, along with uh, Ganberry together we are hosting today's webinar for our students. Uh, we have with us Ms. Shweta Vanjeri. She is the international department. Uh, she's going to today present, do the presentation for all of us. And uh, as someone from Ganberry, uh, my name is Pranali and uh, I'm going to be hosting today's webinar. So I'm sure everybody's aware about Ganberry and what services we do. So I won't waste too much of time, quickly go take you through. Uh, we assist one-on-one -on -one personalized guidance to our students who wish to proceed with us for the admission process. Our assistance is free of charge since the universities are our partner university. So therefore we do not charge any fee to them. The students only have to pay for the application, which is directly to the university. And as everybody is aware that we also do a service which is called Super Mentor, which is one of our products within Ganberry, which is simplified assistance to the senior student from the senior students to our existing students. So who wish to take that service, they can go on, go on our website and they can click on to the Super Mentor. Uh, Going ahead, the whole presentation is going to be for 60 minutes, uh, out of which 30 minutes specifically for Ms. Shweta to talk about the university and followed by the Q&A session, which is going to be for 20, 25 minutes. So students uh, today who all are attending this presentation, please feel free to ask as many questions with Ms. Shweta so that she can guide you and obviously explain you about Coventry. So, to you, Shweta, uh, I will just stop sharing my screen and so that you can go ahead and start the presentation. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that, Pranali. Uh, I thought this was like a session with our current offer holders who, are, who have already applied with us, uh, but uh, that's fine. I can uh, try to share a screen for the presentation. And also, I'm uh, an international officer. I worked at the London campus of Coventry University and if even if I don't have answers to all your questions, we can compile them. Granberry can compile them on a, a Word document or a spreadsheet, and I can find the answers for you. Because uh, there are certain technical questions like admissions and you know the uh, certain questions related to the course, which are very technical, and they, those can only be answered by the faculty. And the admissions of faculty couldn't join us today because we are very busy at the moment for the January intake. So that's the reason I'll go and find the answers for you if I'm unable to answer you. Uh, so let me just uh, share my screen with you. Can everyone see my screen? Yes, we can. Fantastic. So I'll try to keep the presentation as short as possible just to give, you know, give you an overview of the university and stuff. Uh, just give me two minutes. Uh, right, I have to turn off the video because of the internet connection. So there we go. So Coventry University, I just uh, want to uh, divide the presentation today in these sections that why you should study at Coventry University and what will you study and how will you apply? So let's kickstart the presentation. The UK as a study destination. This is, uh, this is some of the testimonials from one of our students who is currently studying with us that it is the best thing of being about a student in, as an independent individual, being away from home, has taught them to be more independent and focused, uh, more focused on their career. So, and Coventry University is also ranked as top 30 in the world for international students as per the QS World Rankings 2021. Uh, let me just uh, make the presentation. Oh yeah, perfect. So there we are. Uh, it's uh, ranked 30 in the world for international students and then uh, the location wise, location, 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 as we call in the UK. Uh, so from the London campus uh, and the Coventry campus, where you can see the cathedral picture in the between, Birmingham, another city is only 20 minutes, Manchester is another two hours by train, and Oxford is like 45 minutes, London is an hour by train. So these are the locations, uh, uh, you know, they just wanted to give you a, give you an idea that how far the other cities are from Coventry and how it is in the center of the UK almost. It's called West Midlands. 
and it has received the University of Year for Student Experience recognition from the Times and Sunday Times Good University Guide 2019. It was shortlisted for University of the Year 2021, again through the QS World Ranking, which is highly respected amongst the international student community and uh, uh, the educators as well, and top 30 for international students, again, as per the QS World Rankings uh, 2021. And uh, University of the Year for Student Experience, number one in the UK for overseas student experiences based on student trips abroad. What that means is for us, the, uh, the applicant journey, right from the time you think of applying to the course, right till the time you graduate uh, post -applic uh, application when you enroll, we want to make the student experience very enriching. So you not only succeed on the course, but you actually thrive on the course. That's extremely important for us. And HISA is another, uh, you know, uh, uh, respected body in the UK, which, uh, you know, does all this research and everything. So it's very extremely important for our university for the best student experience we can provide you at every stage of your, whether it's an applicant process, application process, or is it post-application, like enrollment and when you start the course. And then we have... Um, certain countries in the world where we have our own country representatives uh, to guide you further. Uh, and uh, agents like Grant Canberry are regularly in touch with them uh, to give you the best applicant experience as well. So from the city lifestyle perspective, Coventry University is ranked in top five, uh, again, in the QS Best City Student Index 2019. And London is rated as the best student city. Just to put things into perspective for you, uh, the population of Iceland is 300,000 uh, and the population of student population in London itself is 300,000, which you will see in one of the slides coming up. Um, so uh, top five UK city student city, top 50 student cities in the world, top 100 most affordable student cities in the world, because as a student, we have to budget everything properly and everything. So these are the features what the Coventry city will offer you. And um, there are independent businesses. It received the City of Culture Award. And then London. Like, uh, everyone knows about London. There are over 300,000 international students or students studying in London. And um, it has a beautiful landmark. This is the picture of our two students who are based at our London campus, discussing probably some assignment. That is the backdrop. Uh, the view you will get from our London campus uh, because we are based in the financial district of London, which is um, called uh, Liverpool Street, uh, where all financial organizations, insurance and all these, uh, you know, big companies are around and uh, key landmarks. Uh, so most of the courses running at the London branch where I am based are more like finance and, you know, business related economics uh, based. Uh, so uh, how to choose the course? Uh, another very important point I want to make today is that whenever you choose any university, you have to check whether the teaching excellence framework, the money you are investing is on the teaching. And that teaching excellence framework has to be a gold status because it started from 2017 and we have been under the gold category since the time it started. So please, whenever you choose any university, also make sure that the government has ranked the teaching, the facilities of that university into gold uh, and granted them gold status like we have over here. And then this is how to choose the course. I'll skip that section because our uh, agents are very well trained in all our courses, how to apply and everything. So how to choose a course, then that brings us to faculties. That this is a, basically an area map of Coventry University where different buildings like engineering building, aerospace building, uh, uh, the nursing, uh, health and life science building, they all are based in, in this area. This is like a mini village, Coventry University at the main uh, Coventry city. So the four faculties which we are going to touch upon uh, today are arts and humanities, business and law, engineering, environment and computing, and health and life sciences. So moving on, um, for faculties of arts and humanities, then it's further divided into school of art and design, humanities and media and performing arts. It's ranked ninth for film production and photography and top 10 in architecture. And second in the UK for journalism, publishing and public relations, as you can see on the screen, uh, as per the Guardian University Guide 2021. 
And then you have the School of Art and Design, um, other uh, students doing this kind of uh, individual pictures as shows you that what uh, the projects the students are involved in. And uh, moving on, these are the companies where students, uh, we have worked in the past and continue to work with them to place the students for work placement or some kind of unpaid work experience. Uh, or maybe paid work experience, uh, it depends upon this, uh, the company. And uh, the design, communication, media, visual art, performing arts, these are the courses uh, you can apply under this. And the most important thing is that what is the ranking of the course? So we got the highest ranking uh, uh, or the ranking on a higher side of four stars for the faculties of arts and humanities. And accreditation is also given by the bodies like, uh, which, are, which, you, which you can see on the right-hand side of the screen, Royal Institute of British Architects, Steinberg Certified Center and stuff. These are recognized bodies which are accrediting this course at the moment. And then that brings us to Faculty of Business and Law, just to give you a quick overview. And then there's a School of Marketing Management, Economics, Finance and Accounting, Law School and a Strategy and Leadership. And just to uh, bring your attention to the fact that we are ranked fifth in the UK for hospitality, event management and tourism as per the Guardian University Guide, which is a very respectable guide in the UK, whenever a student wants to check which school I have to apply for and how that course is ranked. And that brings us to International Center for Transformational Entrepreneurship because for us to develop entrepreneurs in, for the future are extremely important. So there is a Center for Business Society, Center for Financial and Corporate Integrity, and the courses are accredited by ACCA, CFA, Chartered Institute of Marketing, CIPD, all the world recognized organizations. Again, the ranking for this course is, uh, as you can see on the screen, four stars. And the faculty of, uh, that brings us to faculty of engineering, environment and computing. So let's quickly touch upon that as well. The investment, the student, uh, as you have seen in the uh, previous slides and this slide as well, the investment, the university is constantly making to give you the best student experience. Uh, invest in equipments uh, where there is a um, you know they, you can practice uh, what you are learning in the classrooms in the labs and stuff put the theory into practice so that is what the university is constantly investing into different facilities upgrading the facilities and uh, so that the students have the latest uh, equipment to work with so the faculty of engineering environment and computing uh, is divided into a school of energy construction and environment School of Computing, Electronics and Mathematics, School of Mechanical, Aerospace and Automotive Engineering. And it is ranked number one in the UK for building town and country planning. Uh, and it is ranked 12th for mechanical engineering as per the Guardian University Guide 2021. So what will you discover? So work placement is an extremely important part which gives you a competitive edge because before you even finish your course, you exactly know what what is the outside world like outside the four doors of the classroom so this is uh, uh in uh, uh denso we invented the qr code and uh, they had collaborated was with us in the past so there we are so these are the, some of the pictures of you know just a glimpse of how the faculty engineering uh, of engineering environment and computing looks like and again the course is highly ranked and these are the projects they were running Artificial intelligence is extremely important for us. Engineering and manufacturing, data science and future computing, resilient food and water systems. And the course is accredited by all these bodies, Chartered Institute of Architectural Technologies, for example, Institute of Mathematics, Royal Aeronautical Society, just to give you a few names. That brings us now to our last uh, faculty, um, Faculty of Health and Life Sciences where we have uh, courses like nursing, midwifery, psychological and behavioral science, life sciences. It is ranked sixth for food science, 14th for forensic science, and 17th for sports science, sixth for social work co courses, seventh for physiotherapy, nursing, and midwifery, all as per the Complete University Guide 2021 and Guardian University Guide 2021. So these are just to give you some uh idea that how they create a real life scenario like you will feel like you are actually in a hospital or you are actually a paramedic treating somebody 
in a you know uh, emergency situation in a in an ambulance and the, the we uh, we had uh, prince william and kate coming to visit our new build science building and uh, uh, so the one of our colleagues took them around the campus to show that how the nursing students are you know uh, working and what they learn on the course because this is this was pre pandemic so uh, and coventry university even gave equipments to the local hospital during the coronavirus pandemic last year and our students also volunteered to work um, at several hospitals and placements is an extremely important part of health and life science courses so it is ranked second in the uk for nursing placements and uh, so there we go and see it's all about making a difference to the local community and to the wider country in general so there we go these are the uh, ranking for the course we work with social world world uh, work england british psychological society and other accreditations as you can see at the bottom of the uh, screen royal society of biology and stuff and it's nationally and globally recognized for research because we like to invest in research and contribute to the society wherever we can center for care excellence for nursing midwifery allied health professionals center for intelligent health care center for sports exercise and life science as you can see on the screen okay moving on uh, that brings us to a coventry university, university london campus where students can chill during the break and have a cup of coffee because this is a vibrant area of london you are in the every footstep you you come out of the campus as soon as you come out of the campus there is a subway two minute two two uh, doors down uh, not even two doors one door down after that you have a pizza and then there's there are so many places you can eat over there there's no problem uh, when you're picking up a place to eat uh, at london it's a very good st uh, study environment it provides the campus and we have two uh, buildings in the center of london which is a very very expensive area where you have uh, one uh, a campus uh, where you have uh, classrooms and other facilities which you can even visit our coventry university london website and they have a a, a gallery of pictures for each floor and then other building it's called cutlers exchange where it's a bloomberg style campus so uh, just to give you a pass to put things into uh, this uh, give, give you an example this is our london campus and then you have all this thames river is so close to that the bloomberg building is close fortnum and mason which is a tea shop for the last you know since 1700 the ritz hotel ralph lauren kensington palace everyone is every all the key locations which are few of the key key locations plotted on this are very close to the campus you and the campus is very close to the train station uh, and from there you can hop and visit the entire central london uh, through different stations so this is a one of our pictures of one of our bloomberg campuses in london and then we have some uh, of our satellite campuses based at uh, scarborough which you can see on the right hand side a famous place for surfing and stuff and then you have cu coventry which is within the coventry but both these satellite campuses do only undergraduate courses so this is the kind of investment uh, our university has made to add extra courses through the satellite campuses and scarborough is in yorkshire so it's a beautiful uh, coastline as you can see in the picture very popular for surfing even uh, some people from australia come there for surfing in the summer and uh, so how to start the process so basically our agents are very well uh, trained in the application process so just to put the uh, thing uh, the process into um, a flow chart if i have to all these uh, previous documents which we saw on the screen these will be submitted by the agent uh, or your agent's counselor and then you will receive a conditional offer letter you meet the conditions of the offer letter including passing the credibility interview and then you pay the 4000 deposit which is the minimum deposit required in order to receive the cash letter then you receive the cash letter and then um, meet all the other conditions like bank statement checks and other things and then you can apply for 
your visa and accommodation, organize your travel to the UK or enroll. But because we are not living in normal circumstances in the past one year because of the pandemic, there are certain students who uh, enrolled online. And in order to enroll online, uh, and even to uh, in order to enroll face to face, it doesn't matter. There is a second deposit of four thousand pounds you have to pay before you receive the online enrollment link, or if you want to enroll face to face. So if your tuition fees are say fifteen thousand pounds per year, you pay four thousand uh, to receive cash. But after receiving cash, but before the enrollment deadline, you still have to enroll. In the meantime, your uh, cash is getting processed. So for that, you pay, need to pay another four thousand pound deposit. So your total deposit before you enroll and start the course has to be eight thousand, and then you can, uh, you know, you will receive a remote enrollment link or a face-to-face -face link, depends upon where you are at that point of time before the enrollment deadline, and then you complete your course. So this is where we are at the moment. And these are just uh, short uh, uh, notes for you, uh, like if you want to write the personal statement, as you know, personal statement is so ex extremely important when you apply for the course and uh, how the personal statement has to be. It has to have a formal tone. It has to be unique and personal to your background and experience or whatever you have uh, or academy, uh, the transferable skills. Uh, you, you may be involved in extracurricular activities. You can add that as well is extremely important. And the uh, entry requirements of English, our agents will be able to tell you scholarships uh, live, uh, the regularly they are shared with the agent as well. And uh, yeah, we believe in giving scholarships. And this is the pictures of our, on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the London accommodation. On the left, you can see the accommodation at Coventry. It's a common student area to chill. And the right hand side, you can actually see the London accommodation. So there we go. Um, another important thing about the London accommodation is that first of all, you have the panoramic views of the city from the 32nd floor, floor bar. Plus there is a 24 seven library on the 33rd floor with a balcony overlooking London. And it is only two minutes away from our London branch campus. And as far as Coventry University accommodation is concerned, it is university owned as well as they have some private accommodation. It is in the city center and walking distance to the campus so you save on traveling. Residential support is there well connected to local transport links and there are communal areas including cinema rooms. So these are the key features of the accommodation. And then we have Center for Global Engagement, which is number one for international experience for students, which you have to register with once you enroll. There is a Global Leaders Program, World Languages. This is what comes under Center for Global Engagement, which you can visit this website and do a bit more research. And there may be placement and international opportunities available for you. Uh, some of them may be subject to additional cost uh, and visa requirements and availability. Then we have another very important thing, which is the Coventry University Student Union. There are 130 societies, student societies and over 55 sports club, which you can possibly join when you enroll as a student. And obviously register with the Coventry University Student Union. Plus there is an employability and career support. As soon as you enroll on any course, they will try to you know, book a one-to-one -one appointment with the careers or the talent team to brush up your CV. If you see any job you want to apply for because you can work 20 hours a week or full-time during holidays, ask them, take their advice, book a one-to-one -one appointment with them uh, to understand how to brush up your CV and apply for those jobs uh, because we want our students to be either in further study or employed once they have finished their studies as well. But you can always work when you're studying, but uh, only 20 hours per week. So. That's the reason um, uh, we have a highest rating for QS from QS for employability. That is what we call talent team. You will have support even when uh, because you are away from your family and you will be coming to study to the UK, which is true in most of the people's cases. If you don't have relatives in this country, then there is a team which gives you psychological support so that you thrive on the course. It doesn't affect your studies in any way. 
So all those things are also available, which are not mentioned on this presentation, but I'm just giving you extra information. And then uh, the graduation uh, ceremonies are still going on today. Since last couple of weeks, graduation ceremonies were going on at Coventry. Today is the last day for the uh, this uh, graduation ceremony. So just playing a quick video for you. So after graduation, obviously alumni is extremely important to, through the alumni service, you can keep in touch with your fellow classmates and the wider alumni network in general. And you never know that what opportunities might come your way and you can network well, within this alumni network, which can even uh, spread across the other universities as well. So one of the student has given us a testimony saying that my time studying at Coventry has given me lifelong friends and opportunities. And I feel very proud to be part of the alumni community. Uh, so networking is extremely important. Even after you graduate, you have to, I mean, if you register for the alumni community, it would be a very good networking opportunity for you. And uh, when I'm talking about the alumni discount, well, what I also mean is that uh, me, uh, once you finish your undergraduate course, when you progress to a postgraduate, you get a 15% off on your tuition fees, but that is applicable now. So in the future, it may change or the percentage might go down or go up. So this is what some of the students have to say. So that brings us to the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for your patience in uh, watching it. I think you've given all complete information to our students and I'm assuming if they have any further more, they can definitely connect with us and we can guide them or answer these questions again in case if they've not understood, you know. But uh, th thank you so much, Shweta, for your time. And uh, it was lovely having you for the webinar. In Fantastic. Order to with uh, I enjoyed answering all your questions. There were certain technical admissions related questions, but submit your applications through a recognized strategic partner, Gyanberry, recruitment partner. And I'm sure the admissions team will get back to them on your all your you know, very, very technical queries, which are only applicable to your case. So uh, thank you very much for having me over here today to answer all your questions. And uh, hope to see you at Coventry University. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you, students, and thank, thank you for you attending the webinar. Uh, hope to see you in the office. Uh, if you have any more questions or if you want to go ahead with the applications, please connect with the team, and we'll be happy to do so. Absolutely, okay. and, and thank take you. Care. Much. Thank have you. Have a good evening. Bye, -bye. bye. Thanks. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thanks.